from Lead Scripts, and I wanted to give you an inside look at Phase 2. It's been released. Today's 12-30-2020, and it's live now, so you can get access to it. I just wanted to highlight some of the things that we did in this release. So, first off, you're going to see the same thing when you log in here. We're going to be adding some videos for the next phase. That's fine. So, I'm just going to start with some of the basic elements. If you go to Headline Generator, you're going to see the show formula toggle in here now. So now, if you, even though the user variables, you can change this and it'll, it'll update your scripts over here based on what you have in here. This isn't a great example because I have the same stuff. But um, there's another video where you, I show you how to save all this stuff and how to go. Basically, it's you save it as the same name and it'll overwrite it. You save it as a different name. You ha you're going to have a different one show up here. Um, and you can also click this to fill the example. So I just saved that for now. It saved the same stuff. So anyway, the big thing is this, the fo show formulas. So it'll tell you exactly what you're looking for in each one of these. And as you go down, you can click load more records and it'll just keep loading records. And, and um, then you can toggle it again. So anyway, the show formula is on everywhere. We're, we try to... I mean, I put that in everywhere possible, including funnel scripts. Funnel scripts is going to look a lot different than what you're used to. Funnel scripts, we added the user variable bar, which you, again, you can just, you know, you get your products and services in there. You, you're doing it for different people. You can just select which one and automatically update the scripts for you. And then you can also toggle and know exactly what you need to put in for your headline, sub, sub headline, and your paragraph. Um, I'm going to come back to the funnel scripts for a couple of the things we added was openings generator. This is great for whenever you're, you know, opening a letter or a sales page or something like that. It's going to talk about all the openings. So there's a ton of these in here. And again, you can see the formula, what exactly you need, you know, what you're trying to include in here and all of these tokens are replaceable over here on the left so we've added a ton of those there's over 50 of those one of the things with the user sidebar there is a different video for this but um, you can access it here you can update them here for each uh, each product or service you have or you can go to my swipe file under my products and you'll be able to, you'll be able to see those and edit those just as well so anyway back to funnel scripts what we did was we added these as tabs now so that it's consistent with the rest of the app we added the user variables to the side to replace all the tokens and we also added the show formula so you can see exactly what you need to replace or what what token represents one thing with this with the funnel scripts, the whole idea is to get in, get out, and test what will work and what will not work. You Instead of wasting two hours of your time or three hours of your time, or maybe you just get stuck in a rut, you can't even do it. Uh, what you do is you come in and you can get your information. You get to headlines, get to subheadlines, get to paragraph, and get it out and test. Instead of trying to come up with the perfect copy that you don't know if it's going to work or not. So we what we that's that's what we show for every page in the funnel so you got your funnel over here you got the pages in the funnel and each page in the funnel might have something different on it a lot of them share a headline obviously in the subheading um, some might have buttons some might not some might have paragraphs some might not might not so what's coming up right now you can see you can come in you can get your text you can copy it you can paste it into your funnel or you can save it and it will get saved to your swipe file under headlines or whatever it is or but what's coming up is right now let, let me take a the squeeze page funnel for example when you come in right now you're going to get the headlines subheading and the buttons okay it's going to show up okay now you go to the thank you page and you're also going to get headlines and and subheadings maybe not specifically geared towards a perfect thank you page so the next phase what we're going to be doing is tagging all these so that each one of these scripts are specific and some of them might overlap but specific for that exact page so when you go to a thank you page you're going to get a bunch of thank you headlines whatever 
Thank you headlines and thank you subheadings. So this is going to get even better next phase. So we're we're building upon the previous build and um, previous phase to make it the best copywriting software on the planet. That's my goal. That's what we're doing. Um, so you got to see the user sidebars everywhere now. We added subheadings. We added openings to the different generators and for funnel scripts we added the tabs and the sidebar under my account we'd made a couple tweaks to my account nothing big big right now you this actually doesn't work yet you'll need still need to contact us to add lifetime or you know to up, update your account but that's coming very very soon um and this is a lot of stuff. The show formula toggle is there. It's everywhere. The variables everywhere. So this is phase two, and it's only going to get better. So thanks for watching. I'm Craig from Lead Scripts. If you have any questions, you have any suggestions, we have a roadmap. We have suggestions out there, and we're, we're looking at adding languages. I, I, I'm so excited about that. We're adding SEO metadata. I'm excited about that. Um, and we're looking at a bunch of other things. So not to get ahead of myself, this is phase two, release 12-30-2020. Hope you liked it. If you have any questions or feedback, please let me know, and I'll see you next time.